What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. All right guys, I've got a good one here that again just adds to the fact as far as I'm concerned that there was life on the planet Mars, an intelligent life. All right, you've all heard of brine and if you haven't, it's basically a salt deposit that literally absorbs atmospheric moisture and it becomes a highly concentrated salt water. And you can see it right here, it says brines are produced under specific environmental conditions in a daily capture and release of atmospheric water vapor by deliquescent salts that exist at the surface of Mars, such as chlorides. Now, I'll give you the page to this, but check this out. Give you the link, of course. They're showing it right here. And this is in 2015, guys. This is when this page was uh, uh, posted. So you have the H2O evaporated, forms clouds, cloud condensation nuclei it falls back to the ground and then of course you've got right here and the bottom says you got 50 centimeter uh brine droplets or hydrated salt so that's basically what it is right so it, it does have a water cycle and they were saying this in 2015 and i've been saying this all along too all right so i'll give you the page to that but this is what it looks like if you were to see it on the ground that's what it looks like this nasa image released april 2nd 2015 shows a view from the mass camera or the mass cam on uh, NASA's Curiosity rover with a network of two-tone mineral veins at an area called Garden City on Lower Mount Shaw. And so this is what it typically looks like. And now it would be like really, really salty. Um, I'm not sure how it makes squares, but you know what I mean? It's going to follow that particular, um, you know, the pathway into the dirt regardless, right? But let me show you something that's pretty funky. Th this is This is wild. Now this pan here was made by Terraform Mars, which I believe is actually a sub of mine. Uh, so he did a good job of putting this together. NASA image pier 19397, or, you know, forward slash salt 952, right mass cam. Now he does put full res TIFF at 200%. So I don't know if you already zoomed this in or what the, what the case is, but nonetheless, you know, uh, props goes to him for putting this together. Let me show you what struck me on this. Now you can look at this whole uh, pan and you'll find crazy things. This is what I'm interested in. As we zoom into this area, we can see like a bunch of brine right here, right? Okay. Or is it? Because as far as I'm concerned, even if... Let me zoom into the bottom half of this first, and we're going to go ahead and make it full screen. Check this out. Now, we all know that water runs downhill, right? Now, if we were to back out, you can see it's on a little bit of a hill. It looks like it's coming down, and all of this is going down into this central area, right? Going down and probably keep flowing. Okay. Knowing that... I'm seeing from here, it's coming down, but check this out. You can you can see the lines where they did this. Now, this is kind of a crappy um, resolution, but I'm going to show you a little bit better in Photoshop, so just stick with me real quick on this. Right here, you can see it starting, goes up like this, comes back down, goes down here. This one goes up over here and kind of gets lost in it, but there's another white piece going straight across. So is this brine or piping? Now, before some of you laugh, let me show you what I mean. Let's follow it down here. We'll check this out. This one comes down, takes a corner, comes up, goes up and over a rock, and back down the rock, coming over here. This one, you can't see where it really starts from, but I believe it's right here. And you can see there's like circles on these things coming off, going over here. This one goes down and under and follows this one. Or it's the other way around. This one comes down and kind of bends this way, but it looks like this goes under and comes back up. But check this out. It's like sectional pipe. And it keeps going. Comes down. Check this out. It almost looks like there's a round piece here. See this? Right here. One piece coming off. One. This is not brine, guys. This is either two things to me. This is either piping or it's structural. Either way, I've never seen water. I mean, don't get me wrong. Water will run downhill. It'll always find a way around a rock or whatever it's in its way, right? It'll just follow its way around it, under it, whatever. But never have I seen a ro I see it go like this. Come around a corner. Which, incidentally, check this out. Look at this line. Follow it along. Follow it along. Goes back up and over to here. Whatever this thing is, this thing's bending around it. Almost like there was a, st a structure of some sort. And this is the piping that's left over. So, let me show you this real quick. Because this isn't really a long one. But check that out. It spans from way the hell up here all the way down. And guess what? That's not the only place. It actually does it over here. There's something that sticks out over here. I want to show you this a little bit better because I did actually clean this up a little bit more because I concentrated basically on this, what you see right here, right? So let's jump into that. Now, this is what we're talking about. I actually cleaned it up a little bit better, made it brighter, looks more natural. Now check this out. 
this is cool because when I looked at this, I'm going, all right, well, and of course we made it a little bit larger so that we can zoom in a little bit better. Now I can actually blur this. Well, you can see it now coming down here, going like this, coming down, coming all the way down. This one comes down over here. Looks like it takes a corner right here, goes over, up and over this rock, comes back over here. You can actually see this the way this goes down, comes down over to here, and it actually takes a left turn. You know, if you were coming down that way, you'd be taking a left. And there's another small one, real faint right here. Come on, guys, look at this. Check this out. Right over here. Stops. And look at these, like, multiple pieces. It looks like it actually had, like, a little leg, something supporting it. But it looks like it does this. Check that out. What the hell? Now, let me show you the enhanced version. What I did was I tried to go around each side of the pipe, or whatever these are, to try to pull it out and make it look like we pulled it out of the ground, right? So I did some enhancements on this, and this is what I come up with. Now, to me, this is nowhere is it brine. These are pipes. There's something right here. Whatever the hell this thing is, I'm not even sure what to make of that. It literally goes like this, comes down, comes down like this. See that way the thing is made? But you can see this actually come down, and it comes down to here, and it com continues. But there's two of them. There's one that does this, and you can see it going like this here. See the white right there in this corner? Coming up, going over, up, and over a rock. This is what's cool. Check that out right there. Actually coming out of a hole, coming over to here. Pieces look like the So th the way this thing's all like kind of clustered around, thrown around, it's either A, piping, or structural. How do we know that they didn't make their house out of tubing? We don't know, right? Uh, judging by what we see here and what we use here on Earth, that's what would make sense to me. Let's just back out so I can show you this. There might have been a structure here at one time. Or it's just the way they were running down to maybe collect water. If we go back down to this here, this could have been a lake bed right here. See it right here? This could have been an ancient lake bed all inside here. See how it's like this is the very lowest part of it. This could have been a lake at one point, And maybe they were drawing water from it. How do we know? See it right there? And of course, you guys can give me your take on what you believe it is. To me, this is just more proof that there was intelligent life on Mars. Anyway, guys, I got some more videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, I do have that other planetary one coming up, and uh, we've covered it before, but some interesting twists and some other things found in these photos. Guys, have yourself a good day, and we'll see you in the next one.